in my time period, it, the, the game went from trying to, to, to promote the game uh, in, in the country to the most popular sport in, in the country. I think certain aspects could be a little more um, respected um, in terms of those who can, who can contribute to the sport. If you look at the, 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 the best nations and, and, and the best practices of what they do, the, the, the people who have been in their, in their sport and, and have, a, you know, have a accomplished or achieved things or helped it to grow are always part of that whole organization because they know the history, where you came from and what it took to get there. I would much prefer it to be the, the, the people that are coming in to coaches um, not being cookie cuttered. Uh, let, us, let them explain to us how they would bring their vision of the game onto players, whatever age group they, were, they are working with. To create people with imagination rather than try to put something on top of them. And then of course the league. I, I think this is going to be the most significant um, change in Canadian soccer. If it, could be, if it could be stable, if it could be maintained, if it could be sponsored um, on, on, a, on, a, on a basis that makes it grow. Because I am a person that believes in environment. Environment shapes everything. And once you have that environment and it, it, you, you, it, it, it grows, it's a living organism, it breathes, there, there's, there's some lulls in it, which is normal. Canada will never, I don't think, be consistently knocking uh, on, on, on the door all the time. But we are seeing it growing. The same thing is happening in the female game. And we've got to be careful. But the league is the most important thing. And, and eventually when we grow, and we grow to have a, a league for, for, for female players as well, and, and, the, and the male players, I think it is going to transform everything in the game. Administration, refereeing, coaching, the development of players, everything in the game. With national teams, I was in a situation where I was working with quite the majority of players that are, you know, coming from, from, from good environments. They, by and large, they were solid professionals. Um, but I think in coming into this club environment, you. You, you have so many different type of players coming in um, and certain things that you would take for granted about their lifestyle, their habits and all of that on a day-to-day -day basis becomes very different than when you're in a 14-day camp. So I, I think the biggest, the biggest takeaway is, is how you manage those players. I, I, I always try to have some sort of one-on-one -on -one communication, a personal relationship with, with my players uh, beyond, beyond football and, and not in a formal way. We might be walking to, to training in the pitch and, and you just kind of greet them and try and find out how things are going and all of that. But I, I think on the day-to-day -day basis you have to be more, you have to be more on top of it. You have to be more, a little more, a little more careful.